In our morning rounds, vitamin D is getting a big old F for battling hypertension. A new study finds that despite its widespread use, the supplement is actually useless for lowering your blood pressure. And too much could open the door to other serious health problems. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles and joins us. Not at the table, on satellite. David, always good to see you. So what do you want us to know about this research? Well, so this is a study that pooled lots of other studies with thousands of people and showed that taking vitamin D did not lower blood pressure. There's an association, people with higher blood pressure have lower vitamin D, so it was a logical trial to do, but it failed. And this is one of many trials that have failed with this vitamin. So, so go, ahead. go ahead. So do we need vitamin D? Um, the answer is no. I mean, so there's, there's more and more people are taking it. It's the second most prescribed or taken vitamin in the country, second to a multivitamin, yet there is no benefit that anybody derives any clinical utility. It doesn't work in anybody, and yet it may cause significant but harm. Is there any medical, is there a debate in the medical community about this, or is it 100% sure that vitamin D, vitamin D has no good... Effects. Well, the associations are real, right? People with lower vitamin D have more cancer, heart disease, et cetera. And it's because vitamin D goes with inflammation. It's not because vitamin D is causal in these cases. So the U.S. Preventive Task Force, the most conservative group in the country, says nobody in the country should be tested now or taken vitamin D. 75% of Caucasians and 97% of African Americans are, quote, low in D. So I think, and the community thinks, we now have to reassess what is normal. Nobody should be taking it at the present time in, in a normal individual. I am totally confused by this, David, because I was told that I had some of the lowest vitamin D, D levels ever seen, lack of sun or something. I was prescribed to get these supplements, which I took. So for people like me, and there are a lot of us, what are you saying that we should do? For you to say nobody should be taking it is kind of scary. Yeah, but that's the data. And so the data are is that people over, women over 70 who take high dose vitamin D increase yeah. the rate of bone fracture by 26%. People who take vitamin D, that is, you know, normal women who take vitamin D have stomach problems, kidney stones, with no benefit on bone fracture rate at all. So, Gail, I don't think you have rickets, which is a clinical lack of vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And so taking it probably doesn't make sense. We just don't know what a low level necessarily means. But the people who are taking vitamin D probably are taking it because their doctor prescribed it. Yeah. Well, their doctor told them to do it, but again, the, these data question what doctors are telling people to do. Mm -hmm. So I want people, if their doctor says, you should be on vitamin D, I want you to say, where is the data it'll benefit me, and challenge for that data. All right, Dr. Mm -hmm. David A. Well, I there think you go. Your there name's you going to be coming up a lot today in doctor's <laughs> offices. That's David A.G.U.S. Thank you, David. Thank you.